It is time now for the Roadie Roundup. We are chatting about some of the headlines making the rounds this week. Let's meet our panel this morning. Our guest host uh, for the day, Audrey McClellan, joins us. Chef Nick Raybar from Avenue N. And another favorite mom blogger, Courtney Calagiri, joins us this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Nice well. to see you. Now, everybody's got kids. We all have kids. School is back in session. Uh, back to school week <sighs> is, is here. It, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Well, I don't even think oh. I need to say confetti and glitter. Yeah. Look, is, is that, that my really obvious? <laughs> I sorry. think that answers the question. <laughs> We've only got three more minutes to fill. Are uh. you guys excited that all of the kids are back in the routine? And do you think, as great as summer vacation is for all the kids, do you think even they are kind of excited to get back into that everyday routine, seeing their friends and doing their playing sports, like you were saying a little while yeah, ago? Yeah, I, I mean, I I know that I know that I am um, <laughs> for sure, and yeah. uh, and I know that they are actually this year too, which is a little bit different than than past years. You know, they they get into the summer routine of sleeping a little later mm -hmm. and loafing around, and I I'm surprised how fast they've adapted this year to yeah. to getting up, and they seem to genuinely excited to be going to school. It sounds crazy. Crazy. What's I, going I on know, with the world? Yeah, but, 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 but they're into it. Right. Yeah. When, when we were younger, I don't remember, first of all, as many activities as there are now, or kids playing as much sports or after school things. So I think that adds to it that the kids really want to get back to school. It's, it's so true. Yeah, yeah. The hype, it's weird. It all starts at once. We have dance, daisy, soccer. Mm -hmm. Who knows? That's for oh, one football, child. Football, track, yeah. to gym. It's all, it all starts. It's like we're all starting after Labor Day. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. Right. You know? Yeah, and your kids started new They've got new school this year, right. which is another challenge for a lot of kids. Too. Right, new school, meeting new kids, new teachers, um, new environment, new new start times. Yeah. And then on top of that, like you guys were saying, you know, we're a swim family, but they want to do cross country and basketball and flag football this year. But, you know, I think they were more excited about starting this year because I, I don't know if it maybe it was just I, it Those wasn't a long sports, summer yeah. but it, really it was just was. Right. It, I mean it just it just seemed to me I know there was a good yeah. sport yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, they were itching they were just itching to get back right. yeah. you know and everybody every, we all of us have more than one one kid mm -hmm. how is how are you handling the all of the sports all of the activities do you have other people come in to help out too uh, we, I, I do. <laughs> I have like Did an you army see that? of people. Every kid. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Who yeah. wants so to you guys, like, <laughs> <laughs> I have some people. I have some people. <laughs> Who are these people? people? Yeah, I, listen, I I'm not telling you guys. They're my people, all right? <laughs> well, no, well, obviously, Tracy does so much, you sure. know, of the activities and of the ring around. But we do have, you know, co parents, uh, the friends of, yeah. of yeah. their peers I that will drop off, too. they'll yeah. pick up. That's right. super, super helpful. Um, we, you know, we work nights in the restaurant business. Yeah. So we have, you know, sitters and caretakers that are really good about it. Plan place. We've got a strategy. This is yeah. the thing, when you work from home, it's like, well, it's, it's just me and me, but I do have moms, we try to get our kids in the same soccer team, so for carpooling, yeah. you know, because I have... We have our little boys who come with us. I'm like, I might need to jet out of here if someone's right. like not right. having a great or time. Or you can so. force your children to do the same sport. Yeah, and I was like going to say, right. That's right. Oh, you I mean, love soccer. All of them. That's I mean, right. Even you working from home, but people will think, oh, she's working from home. It's easy. It's a lot easy. of times, it's not easy. A yeah. lot of times, you need that separation from your career and your kids. But I don't know how you do it's it. It's a lot yeah. of late nights. I've been working till probably like 11 or 12 at night yeah. now because Plus, taking care there's of kids no all time them. now during the day because we're running to and from with right. different times right. for school pickups. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. now speaking of running from one place to another, there is now a lift for kids. A new service <laughs> that will pick up your kids, drop your kids off. Basically, it's like a lift service. You can program it on your phone, mm -hmm. pick them up, drop them off, pay what, for what's it. What's that app, Will? <laughs> I'm going to get cracking on this right away. Would, Hold you, on. would you do it? <laughs> would you do it? They say they've run extensive background checks on all of the drivers. But still, I myself would be a little leery putting my kids in a car with somebody who I don't know. I get weary some going yeah. in like an mm -hmm. Uber by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I know I, I know that like it, it just is someone that you don't know. And my children, I mean, maybe by the end of the school year when it's just like you just can't. <laughs> it, right now, even they want to bike to school. And I'm like, no, not yeah. yet. But maybe by March, April, I'm like, what? what can we call someone? Yeah. Like, I'll be giving. I'll give you anybody. Just right, whatever. Whatever you want to go, go. Uh, just go. Uh, that's so funny to think about. Like, hey, your Uber's here, and like watching like the six year old. Run out. Okay. Well, it's like when you it's see nice. your lunch basket at the end of, of the year, it's like a cheese stick and right. something else. You're like, sorry, I just can't do it anymore. Or is that just me? But no, no, yeah. it's not, no, it's not. Sure. The lunches have notes in them right now because this is our like fifth day. Yeah. The notes oh, will stop. No, like, they, that's right. Yeah. It's going to look like ladybugs yeah. and like you're shaping yeah. things. Yeah. I think it works for older kids though for lifts. Like, I don't know. When I got yeah. dropped at the mall at 13, 14, you're almost ready to drive, but you're not driving. You kind of know your moral compass is great. But like, you know, my oldest is seven. 
I don't let them get them the, the mail no. without me right. going. No, there. No, like, no. You can't even be in the backyard alone. Yeah. You right. know, no. so. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for coming. Uh, Have a great well. long holiday thanks. weekend. Always well. good to see everybody, and it's always good to uh, catch up with our Roadie Roundup panel this morning. Now.